Hey everyone, Seth from Gold City Media and addicted to social media.com, atosm.com. I um, want to talk briefly about um, the people's impressions of Google Plus. I mean, it's been a few months now since Google Plus has come out, and there's been studies pointing out like Google is now fading. Google Plus is now fading. Um, they went up to 40, 50 million people, and now they're going down um, in, in popularity. On one of the recent reports, which by a company called Chica, Chica Ka, something like that. Um, doesn't really sound like a really reputable, reputable company, in my opinion, but whatever. They looked at the public posts and saw that there's less interaction. Now, what people seem to forget is, is that Google Plus is not Facebook. It doesn't break the rules and say if you do something pu privately, it's going to come out publicly. Uh, what's private cannot be indexed in the search engines. It cannot be picked up in these reports unless you're friends with these people that have private posts. So when you think about this, people have been talking about how the founders of Google, you know, Sergey and Larry Page aren't using Google Plus, like they're not eating their own dog food, is not correct, because they are. If you're friends with them and they're following you back or whatever, you do see their posts and they're just posting privately, they're posting amongst their circles. Not everything needs to be public, people. I mean, you gotta think about this, that, you know, Twitter is a public platform, Facebook can go either way, so can Google Plus. But with Google Plus, you're actually able to finally control who sees what post. Generally what I do is I post most of my stuff public because a lot of stuff isn't really that personal that I, I need to keep it quiet. Anything I want to keep just amongst the people who follow me, I put under your circles or under a certain category of people. Um, pretty much I think Google Plus is here to stay. I think that people who say that there's not a lot of conversation going on, that it's quiet, that's, that they're not following the right people. Um, what you need to do is you need to follow the, the tastemakers and the people who are, are in your community if, if your community is on Google Plus right now, and if it's not, you just got, you got to wait till they come back on. But if you're in a technology sector, if you're in social media, you're in an area where everyone is on, in your area is on so Google Plus, you follow them and you'll have a conversation with them, you'll talk to them, you'll engage with them, you'll see that there's a lot of co communication going on. Sometimes my, my stream is so fast, I have a pause. Um, extension on my Google Chrome to pause the stream so I can read stuff. It's so busy. Um, keep in mind, I have 5,500 5, people following me, and I follow close to around like almost, you know, 1,500, 1,600 people on my side. Now, you might say, Are oh, you following many people? I don't catch every, every post. I catch enough posts that, you know, I feel like I can gain something out of it. If people want me to see something more directly towards me, I always tell them that they should. Um, you know, plus reply me or out reply me in the post and say, hey, Seth, check this out. And I will see that in my notification bar up there. But generally speaking, people need to give Google Plus a chance. It's been out for three or four months right now. It has already has way more than Facebook had at this time. Granted, Facebook and Twitter both came out when social media was brand new. Google Plus is coming in at towards, you know, the middle or the end. So pretty much what you're seeing is Google Plus is reaping the benefits of that. I think Google Plus will catch on. Personally, I like the, how all my tech center people are on, are on Google Plus. All my family and friends, you know, from high school are on Facebook. I like the division of labor there. I have to have circles to accommodate them, but then it's just, it's going to change the whole experience for me just a little bit. But pretty much anyone who says that there's not enough engagement on Google Plus isn't looking hard enough. Uh, they're not trying out Google Hangouts, which they just added new features to, which really allows you to actually engage verbally and visually with people. I've held co business conferences through Google Hangouts. I've, I've, I've developed business relationships through Google Hangouts. I may even be getting involved in a company that was formed through Google Hangouts. So I mean there's a lot going on in the Google space, in the Google Plus space even, and you know when you think about it, it's still new and I honestly, I'll, yes Google failed a lot of times before the Plus and Wave, not no Plus, was on Buzz and Wave and side wiki and a lot of other stuff. This is done right. This is done really well and this is the doing it right. I mean, yes, they're having this na real name problem that they're gonna figure out. I mean, you know, let's give them a, a, a chance to actually figure this stuff out. Um, also, people who are in the search engine optimization field or who are in the web design field need to realize that, that Google Plus indexes almost instantly the any links or comments you make publicly. It shows up in the search engines rather high. This is crucial for SEO. This is a big push, and Google's not going to lessen this this effect on the search rankings. They want 
Google Plus to show up in, in the search. They want relevant stuff to show up in the search, and this is the way you do it. I want to go on spam Google Plus because you'll get banned and you'll get you know ostracized really fast for doing that. But if you have a good article you want to share that you post it on your blog, share it there. Share it with some good keyword rich text. Don't clog it up and stuff, but share it. And you, you'll see it show up in Google. I mean, give Google a chance. Give Google Plus a chance. Give it a try. I mean, people like Chris Brogan are on here. Brian Solos, they're all on here. They're all using it. Uh, one of my social media friends, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna leave his name na nameless because I'm kind of busting on him a little bit here. But he said, oh, why well, I follow the pacemakers and over on Twitter. That's great. Good for you, so do I. But Twitter is 140 characters and it's hard as hell to try and keep up with all the conversations that are going back on back and forth in 140 character spurts. In Google Plus, there's no limit to your posts, which is good and bad. And a lot of times it takes you're reading people's blog posts almost on Google Plus and then responding to them and it's a little hard to keep up with. But if you come up with a strategy on how you want to attack it, how you want to use Google Plus, and there's no reason not to be on Google Plus. As far as businesses getting on Google Plus, I can't state enough to how many times I see people putting up their business names as their profile names. You can get banned in four days. You have four days to change it back to your real name. I like the idea of the real name policy. I think there's a time and place for pseudonyms, but it's not a place for you to put your business name up there. It's your real name. They are developing business pages that are going to be different from regular pages. I mean, Ford already has one, looks just like a regular page. But they're gonna make them special, and they're gonna make it so that it, it, that it doesn't ruin the influence on, you know, on the actual platform. Uh, just like they did with games, gave them the notification, show up in your notification bar, or in the in the game section, but they don't show up in your main stream. This is probably what Google's gonna do with businesses. If you subscribe to them, you follow them, you like them, whatever verbiage they want to use, they're probably gonna put it in there as a way to interact with businesses in such a way it's not as bloated and crazy as Facebook does. So that's not, that's my thoughts. Those are my words. I'm sticking to them. If you like what I said, you want to agree to me, you know, I'm going to post this on Google Plus. Post down in the comments on YouTube. It's on Google Plus. Check out a2sm.com. That's a the number 2 smcom That is the weekly podcast and daily blog um, of Addicted to Social Media. We run weekly podcasts comes out every weekday, every, every Friday at 12 noon. Um, usually you can catch the video a little bit earlier because I usually upload it Wednesday night, Thursday morning to YouTube beforehand. But if you want the audio version, it comes out Friday. So check it out. Lots of good links. You find a lot of stuff. Jody and Neil, my co-host, do a real good job holding on the fort with me as well. And also check out goldstreetmedia.com. That's my um, web design, social media, internet marketing, SEO business. And if you want to find out a little bit more personal stuff about me, go to sethgoldstein.net. Or find me on Google Plus by going to SethGoldstein.me. That takes you right to my Google Plus um, page. Otherwise, I'd have to give you a really long URL that would be hard, nearly impossible to actually type into your into your URL bar correctly. So that's my word. That's what I'm sticking to. It's and um, comments. I want to hear them. Bring them on. Um, and I love to th think what, hear what you have to think of what you think about Google Plus. Take care, guys.